Greetings, travelers. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a little impromptu draw stream today. Um, I could not stream, I cannot stream later tonight, so I figured, you know what, might as well do something this afternoon since the countdown has begun for the campaign, the conclusion of the Blood Realm Dawn of the Wolf campaign. Wow! Uh, unbelievable! We had some more backers uh, during the night, and also um, Kyle recently just posted on Twitter that he got the digital bundle. Thank you so much! Wow, we are one backer away from 170, and we are getting closer and closer. 39 hours left. 39 hours left, travelers, um, to get to this goal here. I think we can do it for the rate we're going. I don't know. You know, maybe we'll hit it while we're in demand. A, a couple of perks are coming down, as I mentioned yesterday. Uh, once we go in demand, um, we won't be in demand too long, uh, but... At 12k, we unlock this premium statue perk designed by Shadowpunk. Oh, man, I can't wait to see this in person. I really can't. Oh, it's just a little over five inches, folks. It's a nice size. And and like I said, premium, premium 3D sculpt by Shadowpunk. Oh, man. So thank you so much. If you're thinking about backing and you've been waiting, hey, come on in. Uh, the Iron Wolves. We, we need to recruit more members uh, to, to the team. <laughs> so come on in. Uh, we have an epic, epic adventure in store for you. Uh, so thank you so much again. I, I can't thank you all enough for sharing and for um, backing. It just means so much, really. So oh, I can't wait. And speaking of the new campaign, and by the way, link is in the description and everything. And we're going to have this character, although he won't be a cyborg. Uh, but uh, if you're if you're just joining uh, and you, you're seeing me draw this gigantic four-armed ape, I, I'm loving this new character, and I just I just can't get enough of him. So I have to draw him in all different ways, as as, as much as possible. So so today we're going to be drawing Cyborg Primor, Cyborg Primor. I can't wait to do this one. I feel like maybe this could be the last of our Primor series because. I mean, once you go outer space and sci-fi, you know, where do you go from there? <laughs> so, but I mean, come on, uh, cyborg monkeys, this goes really way back. Very pulpy as well. So I can't wait to draw this one. And if anyone is interested in this sketch card, it is available uh, through the, the link in the chat. And if it does not go today, it will certainly be available on tomorrow's Alterna Comics Art auction all right so let's get right to it again thank you for joining anyone who's watching uh, another impromptu uh draw stream <laughs> living dead primor hey what's up sierra of all that is obvious good to see you thank you for joining thank you so much all right so uh let's do as we always do we get our red here and we will put down our red so he breaks our border uh, i have a couple of wacky ideas for this one um this is going to be new territory for me because obviously i've never drawn this gigantic ape in this fashion so we're going to be experimenting and figuring things out as we go which is always fun sometimes that invites some uh, unexpected surprises or as bob ross would say those happy accidents those happy happy accidents so again, for those of you who are just joining, thank you so much. Little afternoon stream today. Because I will be busy this evening. But I would like to get some little sketch in, you know? Like I always say, this is like going to the art gym. At least I get to draw for one hour during the day. It's important. It's like anything else. Just get a little bit in. Even though you may not want to, you're going to feel good afterwards. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some of this here. There we go. Cover that up. Let's cover that up. So, if you can see, I don't know if you can. I mean, why not? I just imagine a laser beam being fired into the air. <laughs> 
We're getting real pulpy here. Uh, Geronimo's getting real pulpy. Why the heck not? It's comics, dang it. It's comics. Don't you tell me I can't have a laser on my gigantic four-armed gorilla ape thing. <laughs> All right. Let's all, let all that dry here. Looking cool, looking cool, looking cool. Now, I am imagining some type of crazy, I would say like laser cannon. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, we're figuring it out. And this is new territory for our forearm ape. So at this point, anything goes. Anything goes. So we're figuring things out, having some fun with this little exercise. I imagine it like a triple barreled laser cannon. Something right out of, uh, I would say, maybe Quake, if any of you are familiar with Quake. That was, uh, that's one of my favorite first person shooters. Still is to this day. Have the um, they did like a remastered edition of it on uh, PS5. I think it's also on other systems too. But uh, such a great game, really is nothing like the old old stuff. Okay, so let's let that dry a minute, and then I'll start putting down my whitewash, and then we'll really start carving out our character here. I can't wait. So, yeah, we got quite a Primor series. <laughs> quite a Primor series. Oh, man. But I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't. Would not. Oh, man. So, it's it's strange day today here in New York. It was beautiful in the beginning, and then all of a sudden it got pretty chilly. I, yesterday was pretty cold. I don't know what's going on. Very odd. The apocalypse <laughs> is upon us. Okay, so let's get our whitewash here. And who's to say he's living dead? Who knows? Maybe somebody augmented this big gigantic ape. I don't know. Uh, now, there's multiple reasons why. I mean, I just love putting that body horror, sci-fi, cyborg stuff. I mean, you guys know Wirehead. You know, I just love putting wires and all these metal things on some type of humanoid or even a primate creature, because why not? But I was mentioning last time in that really cheesy sequel of um, uh, to um, King Kong 1976, they made a sequel called King Kong Lives, and they basically give him a brand new heart so he he survives the, the the fall of the World Trade Center when he's shot to bloody death uh, at the end of that film. And next thing you know, 10 years later, they figured out a way to resuscitate him. <laughs> Which, you know, like I said, I don't know if I said this last time, it makes you feel better knowing that, oh, well, he's going to survive this. <laughs> he's going to survive that absolutely horrific end in uh, the 1976 with those Gatling guns on those helicopters. Uh, man, oh man. Okay, I think we're good to go. So let's get our brush here. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. And let's see. And again, thank you everybody for watching and for sharing the campaign. Can't believe we have this amount of time left. It's such a huge relief knowing that we hit the goal. It's like I, I, can, I can breathe now. I can breathe. There's a huge weight off the shoulders, folks. Huge weight. Oh, man, we got another backer. Look at this. Unbelievable. Incredible. Thank you so much. I don't know if this person is watching live. And again, I never know to say the names or not. Um, you know, because some people want to stay a little incognito and they have their own uh, avatar name and all that. But um, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Oh, wow, we have 170 backers. Wow. <laughs> 
38 hours left, folks. Man, will we hit that first stretch goal? I will be... I'll do a finger dance. <laughs> Live. Wow, thank you so much. Can't wait for you guys to experience this epic. All right, let's do it. This is going to be cool, intense, all the above. Let's do it. Okay. So here we go. Here we go, folks. We're going to start putting down our wash. On our metal monkey. I'll even put it over the metal parts for now. We'll put it on the whole thing. There we go. Okay, a little more. Little more. So again, I want them looking nice and strong. It's going to be fun figuring out that laser beam effect that's going to be firing from his eye. And of course, we need our Primor Jacked. So thinking about the augments on his arms is pretty fun. Like I said, I imagine some kind of cannon, maybe metal, metal um, fingers. It's going to be interesting, so we'll have to figure that out. I have to go a little bit more opaque on this part. dilute that a little bit we'll go further here let's extend the cannon let's extend that cannon and now let's get the face probably gonna need a little bit more a little bit more here Dilute that a little bit more. There we go. Now, it may not look like much. <laughs> Geronimo, what have you done to your little sketch there? It looks like a complete mess. You're right, it does. It does. In fact, I'm actually crying inside. You can't see. Um, I'm actually not using water. I'm using my tears. <laughs> using my tears. No, there, it's going to come together. At least I say that trying to convince myself. It's going to come together. It's going to come together. It's moments like this where I start to say, why am I doing this live? <laughs> uh, there we go. All right. I think I want to stretch this a little more. more white a little more just a little more a 
Okay, now let's let that dry. That I will allow, so let's do that. That's enough. That is enough. Now, we have our... So what I'm using, I did a little show with Pete um, about materials. I'm using the Tombow Fuden, Fuden Osuke brush pen, soft tip. That's what I'm using here. Is there an artist or art period that you look forward to teaching your class? Yes, absolutely. Uh, always look forward to teaching um, ancient Rome. That's always fun. Um, Baroque period is probably, ooh, I would say when we get to high Renaissance um, and Baroque. Baroque is my favorite because I get to talk about two of my absolute favorite artists, and that's Bernini and Caravaggio. Bernini being one of my favorite sculptors of all time, and Caravaggio one of my favorite painters of all time. Uh, Caravaggio was like the painter that made me want to be an artist. Just seeing that artwork, I was like, man, I, I want to make art. You know, I always love comic books, but like seeing his work, I don't know, it was, it was different. It was just um, the darkness, you know, the, the, the intense tenebroso as, it, as it's called, you know, the intense deep shadows. And um, yeah, the, just the way he executed the subject matter of the religious figures in Christianity really, really hit me, really stuck with me. I don't know if you could hear that. Someone's mowing lawn out there. I don't know if it's loud. It's been going all day since early in the morning. These people in their landscapers. <laughs> Starting at the wee uh, early morning hours. But those are, the, those are my favorites. Those are my favorites, I would say. And then I do like romanticism. That's when we start talking about, uh, I mentioned that painting, Raft of Medusa. I do love that painting. Um, it's so grim, nihilistic, and it, it really ties into what was going on with France at that time. Hey, what's up, Anything Goes? He goes, what up? What's up, dogs? Good to see you, Anything Goes. Thanks for joining. I've always loved Rembrandt and scoffed snobbishly at Picasso. Ah, I enjoy teaching Picasso, only because it's just, uh, it's the complete antithesis of everything people are used to, you know, and that's partly why he's so famous is because no one thought like, not just partly, that is why no one thought like he did. It was just so insanely radical to make art like that. It was uh, challenged thousands of years. No, I would say, well, in that time, about 500 years of what painting was. All my favorite comic channels are fighting. I can expect a steel cage match between Rob and Peter anytime soon. Oh my goodness, fighting. What? Life is too short to be fighting. <laughs> so pathetic. I don't know these channels, but uh, that's ridiculous. That's unfortunate. Uh, life is too short to waste your time uh, arguing. That's what happens, man. People lose sight of this stuff. People really lose sight of what's really important. Uh, how short our life time, you know, our span on this on this planet is it's just uh oh boy that is gonna annoy me that they gotta mow the lawn now or whatever's going on out there i don't know if you guys can hear it i apologize if you can uh it's great when they fight about comics that's fun i guess i don't know what you mean like when you mean like whose comic is the best that's different i don't know i guess that's different uh, too much fighting. Life is too short to waste on fighting. I just want to make art. Uh, when they fight about anything else, it's dumb and I don't like it. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's a shame. That's really a shame. Oh, I, don't, I don't really buy into that stuff. It's, I think it's uh, ridiculous. Genuinely, I think it's really ridiculous. Not worth arguing over. Oh my goodness. Freaking thing is so loud. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but I do apologize. Holy mackerel. Okay. So let's get our character. We're going to have one regular eye. One, two, 
one regular eye. Oh my goodness, sounds like multiple lawnmowers are going off. It's like everyone and their mother right now. It's like, quick, this is the time. Let's have half his face. He's got like a plate on his face here. I feel like that's a go-to go thing to do, right? Apology accepted. It's all water under the dam. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of landscaping. Tis the season. It's true. It's true. Okay, so let's see how we're going to execute this. Because I'd like to get a big beam going here. Just firing out. Yeah, life's too short. People often forget that. It's very sad. People forget how short life is. Oh, this looks pretty cool. I'm digging it. But yeah, no, I, those are the, the my favorite. I, like, I get so inspired when I talk about those particular artists. When I see her, I just, I come home and I was like, wow, I need to create. I need to create. I'm so pumped up. That's how I get. It's, uh, it's like this wonderful, contagious feeling. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking, what kind of, what kind of augments can we give this guy? What kind of like, hmm, like I want to see the, let me see some different types of stuff. I'm going to look at like the Strog for some uh, inspiration from Quake. Um, hmm, okay. It's a little too much. I want something less. Uh, it's funny too, I remember there was a character, I think his name was Saigor, right? Uh, from, uh, I think it was McFarlane's story. Right, Spawn, I think he's in Spawn. He's a, yeah, he's a Spawn character. The idea of a cyborg gorilla. I don't know if there's any others in DC, if there's a... That I can't remember, to be honest with you. Let's have like a valve or some kind of crazy augmentation going on here that's like pumping some type of apparatus. And we'll have it like kind of come around the muscle there. Some scarring here on our big guy. And we could just turn into a whole gigantic plate. I'm not sure yet. Maybe we could give him like some wicked shoulder pads. Kind of show that this stuff is like really stapled in. Yeah, something like this. And then what we can do, let's get another piece here. There we go. Okay. One second. All right, so. So let's see. Um, bionic arms, clockwork heart. Just spitballing a centaur. Yeah, no, I, I like these ideas. Listen, I have. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm really just messing around. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> just like, 
A rocket fist. Well, I like the idea of a rocket fist, man. <laughs> Please keep it coming. Part beast, part machine. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. That's what we're doing. That's what we're all about today. Different types of shoulder pads here. Maybe we'll just have something that kind of resembles tissue a little bit. Some little capsules. Another sneak attack draw stream. That's right, Revan. <laughs> Another one. That Geronimo draws is out of control. Someone must stop him. All right, let's get some huge muscles. Did Turganus ever try to revive old beasts as cyborgs like he did with Gorn? Uh, that's an excellent question. Excellent, excellent question. Uh, so he needed something that he could control. So we actually have that part in the story when I end up doing the revival of Gorn. Um, um, he needs something that he can... I would say through his magic, still be corrupted by the magic. All beasts, they're a little different. They're a little different. So, um, Targanus didn't want to make, uh, didn't want to risk it of conjuring some old beast that would be too powerful for him to tame. But because Gorn was so fueled by wrath, and is considered to be one of the most ruthless uh, generals in Mordrin's history. That ended up being a better candidate. But that's not to say that other people may attempt it. We've gone from pulp to masses of the universe Kirby-esque techno future. Sold! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What's up, Paul? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm... I'm I got something I'm cooking, man. I, I, I gotta just channel this and ride this. Uh, I got something cooking, guys. I think you guys are going to love it. But yeah, Captain Goodnight, I hope that answers your question. At the end of the day, Gorn wants something that he can control. That won't be a threat to him. And while he was able to defeat the, the dragons and wipe them out, it's a little different with the old beasts. They're more ancient. And the connection to them with the deities, I will say, because they are created directly from um, a certain being, or the tether, rather. You, you, you'll find out. It's different. Um, but when we get to humans, you know, they, they are, as we talked about, they come from the remains of the old beasts, the blood of the old beasts. They rise out of that. So they, they got a powerful almost, uh, I would say, divine-like history, in a sense. 
Uh, I'm going through cyberpunk augs and it's coming up with the ideas like stop cameras or invisible to heat sensors, but I'm not coming up with much that translates into art. You never know. <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad you dig it, Paul. Having a total blast. Total blast. All right. Let's, I guess we should finish this arm proper. So let's do this. Let's get this arm to be more human. It's good to have other avenues to explore, much like the key to better uh, writing. You need to read, consume, and experience a lot of other art and genres. Otherwise, you slip into rot, uh, into rot too often, into rote too often. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. Um, I mean, that's why I always, whenever I start a miniseries, I force myself to come up with new characters and come up with, or, or kill characters, you know? It's, you start to get a little stagnant and it, you know, it keeps me on my toes. Oh man, this is a cool one. Oh man. Uh, do you need to make a, uh, a subset of draw streams? The recent ones being monkey cast. <laughs> I guess I do. I mean, this is has this has all been in um, Geronimo draws sketch cards, you know, the entire thing. So I don't know. Maybe I'll have to start separating. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. That is an excellent question. All right. Uh, oh my God! I love this guy. <laughs> just love this guy i feel like i'm playing with my action figures all over again uh let's see oh paul got the card <laughs> oh and a mystery my man holy smokes wow thank you so much paul wow looks like it's not going to the auction folks this has been claimed oh thank you so much paul i'm, I'm honored honored my man honored uh it's going to be very exciting. Um, Blood Realm's going to be on a very exciting uh, path, I have to say. And just just researching and learning about Kirby. and Oh, man, I've been, I've been consuming a lot of uh, you know, Devil Dinosaur, New Gods lately. And you could just feel that, that epicness, that limitless, that limitlessness, I would say, into what the direction... Um, comics can go in it's, you feel it with his work it's just so wonderful um okay so let me get i, I have a drawing of uh, not a drawing i have a i have a pose of myself um so i can just get the hand right <laughs> it looks pretty funny all right so let's get this wire coming out of his wrist there because why not I was going to pick up, I found out there was a comic, um, uh, Kong, remember I, I was mentioning it last stream, I was curious, but the reviews are not very good, it's uh, Planet of the Apes and King Kong, but I don't know, everyone's saying that Kong takes a serious backseat in the story and it's really underwhelming, so I don't know, I don't think I'm going to make the purchase to get it. Uh, I was a little suspicious, but I thought it would have been such a no-brainer, you know, in terms of like how epic they could that could make it. That uh, the concept I thought was pretty neat. That one of the that something like one of the last um, Kong race uh, floated over to uh, that part of the world, you know, where where Taylor uh, crash lands and is abducted. Thought that could have been phenomenal, but I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little hesitant after I read all the reviews, you know. So I don't think I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if any of you have checked it out, but you know, obviously I'll trust you guys. But uh, I don't know. I'm probably not gonna get it. Which I'm like also like so disappointed. How do you screw that up? I said it, it goes into more of like Kong's rights and all that. I'm like, come on, let's, I just want to seek. Imagine like one of the primates waking up and 
and there's no more humans ruling everything. It's just uh, smaller versions of him. I mean, my goodness. Uh, let's see. Uh, collect the time lapses of the Prime War cards into a single video. Oh, okay. That could be fun. Sure. That would be neat. I could do that. <laughs> he goes, or come up with new characters and immediately kill them. <laughs> Poor Solomar. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Solomar. I know, I know. <laughs> well, you know, some characters, they, they're just, they need to be cool. They need to be built up. So they could feel legendary for a, a kind of legend story within the story, if that makes sense. It's a legend within the legend. So, yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, Solomon. Uh, let's see. Uh, a Civil War movie. Um, it's what I expect out of some of the first AI scripts. AI scripts. Jeez. Oh, that's terrible. Well, that's pretty darn lazy. That's insane. Well, yeah, I think I saw a poster for it. It did not entice me one bit. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm good. Oh, thanks for confirming that, though, my friend. Thank you. Uh, laser beam eye. Exactly. Exactly. I want to have this part to be all like conduits, but like sinew. Sinew conduits right here. Like it's all synthetic sinew. And then we're going to draw the gun. And I want that sucker to be triple barrel. Also, Unreal Kristen Dunst is only 41. Oh, she looks old. Wow. Well, maybe it was for the film. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Let's get these big barrels here. have like the you know when they have the holes in the chain gun so we can breathe a bit will the sinew be throbbing and writhing of course what do you think this is armature hour come on now will it be will it be throbbing and writhing i'm, I'm disappointed that you would ask such a, such a question my goodness well master eliza barr Thou shalt know better. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, let's get some wires. Look at the cannon on this guy. Just keep it. I'm just keeping you honest. Can't let the quality of work slip. <laughs> respect that i respect that thank you foolish of me to, to ever doubt you that was very foolish i apologize now Whew. shall never happen again okay so we'll get we got that for now looking good Man, give me this. I want this. Civil War looked like they wanted to tackle a very serious issue, much like the day after. 
but the current system that churns out cinema can no longer consider weighty topics with a mature outlook. Oh, yeah. 100%. Uh, I just saw the trailer only because it was on Twitter. It was being shared. They made that new Optimus Prime or Transformers movie. Wow, it looks god-awful. It looks god-awful. It looks god-awful. Wow. Spe spectacularly te te uh, <laughs> te te terrible, excuse me. It was so bad I couldn't even say it. Okay, so normal arms up top, augment, uh, augments at the bottom. That's what we'll do. Uh, don't you say you're sorrier than I am. I can be just as sorry as you. <laughs> Eloise, hello, Eloise. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, man. Ah. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah, truth be told, like I said, guys, I've just been into movies from the from the past. <laughs> from the, I would say, you know, like 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 I told you, I've been watching all the old Kong movies, and still, like you know, as much as I did enjoy Kong Skull Island, like I mentioned, just watching that original, it's just it moves at such a brisk pace, and you you just marvel. I, I marvel less at CGI, but when I look at how the dinosaurs are moving, and I can tell that that they're not real, right? But I sit there and, and I'm mesmerized at the the movement, this fantasy-like movement of the characters in, uh, in that original Kong movie. I just watched it again last night. And then um, after that, I just had it on while I was just going through uh, papers I had to grade. Um, then I had the Japanese version of King of uh, Godzilla, excuse me, Godzilla. And I was like, wow, first off, Man, I forget how depressing that movie is. It is very dark. It really is a true anti-war film. Um, you see the the destruction and damage really represents the horror um, uh, and aftermath of of atomic fallout. You know, and he's just this this being that represents uh, the horrors of war. It's 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 really great. <laughs> it's a great movie. Uh, that's I think that's why I liked. Um, Minus one so much because it really did have that vibe as well. Um, so no, it's uh, that original is just unmatched in my opinion. It's just it's, it's so superb. Okay, so here let's get some crazy, like, fingers with sharp edges. Yeah, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, Paul gave a valid and well-put review. I, I agree. He goes, I'm optimistic for the new Planet of the Apes. Yes, yeah. Hope it's good. Hope it's good. Uh, I have uh, very low expectations. Monkeys tend to get me to the theaters. Um, uh, but we'll see. You know, this, it looks... It looks Decent, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I hope it's good. That's one of my favorite series of all time. So we'll see. Okay, so let's get that last hand here. Huh. <laughs> 
Wow, anything goes. That's high praise. <laughs> For anything out of Hollywood these days. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Um, I'll tell you a weird movie. I, I'm, I'm not sure if we talked about it. If you guys have ever seen Beneath the Planet of the Apes, the sequel, with the weird radiated humans underneath the planet. That's, a, that's weird. They kind of freaked me out. Even when I was a kid when I saw it, even to this day they freak me out. There's just something about them that's just so creepy. But I love the fact that Charlton Heston is in it at the end. And he literally blows up the world. <laughs> it's like, what a crazy, insane ending. Those movies just went there. Back in the late 60s, 70s. Yes, exactly. He goes, the psychic mutants that worship the bomb. Yeah, it's great. I, it's so funny. I, it, it, it grew on me more and more. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, look at this Charlton Heston replacement. Like this discount Charlton Heston lead, you know? And then I could, you know, your brain starts to go, well, how the heck did this team follow them there? If they went into some time warp, you know, what is the odds that they went into the same time warp? I don't know. My brain started to go there, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but still, it's it's um, it's a lot of fun, you know. It's uh, and I love that Charlton Heston makes that appearance. Uh, there we go, Cyber Gauntlet. You need some kind of techno medieval weapon or armor in situations like these, like Hawkman. Something satisfying about a winged barbarian that hits people with a mace. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It is true. I agree. Well, I'm glad you like it. I don't know if he would. I mean, he's so huge. If he would need a weapon, he's got a cannon. He's got a gauntlet. Um, oh, I don't know if I could put any other weapons in his hands, but I, I think, yeah, I know what you mean by that medieval techno vibe. It's just so cool. <laughs> just the gauntlet going... Uh, let's see. Uh, Charlton Heston knew there was a time to act and a time to think. Great actor. Oh, yeah, he's great. Great, great. I was watching... Uh, it's so cheesy. Omega Man. That movie's so cool. Love movies from back in the day. I can't watch modern movies as much anymore. We talked about this, though. It's just now I, I crave just as limited CGI as possible. I think it's what's happening with the physical media, like the interest in tangible things again more than ever, in my opinion. Let's see. Okay. I had a reference for my hand. Here we go. Okay. Let's get this. I want this to be a real metal hand. <laughs> we could get really crazy and give a... There we go. Let's do this right. Let's give him some gigantic spike. Like a blade. <laughs> Mega Man pulls me down the Richard uh, Matheson rabbit hole. That one writer is the nexus of a lot of fiction that I really like. I agree. Worked on the Twilight Zone. Yes, he did. Inspired the writing for Vampire Hunter D. He certainly did. Oh, my man. Yeah. Fantastic. People don't realize how influential he was. Absolutely. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Sure, Beverly Hills Cop is an awesome movie. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Let's see. Time for teeth. It is time for teeth, folks. Time for teeth. So I have an idea how I'm going to tackle... I have an idea. Oh yeah, look at that. We could do white, but I don't know, I kind of like the idea of a red beam. Come on, these damn things. I kind of like the idea of a red beam. Maybe we'll do some white background. And we'll have keep the beam red. I like the idea of that red beam. So that being said, let's get some highlight on our monkey man here. Going to a family event later, I'm going to be that annoying person when it comes to recommending a movie. I'm going to be pushing everybody to watch some type of sci-fi monkey movie. <laughs> I'm going to be that guy. No, 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 no. Can we just watch? Why don't we just watch, uh, you know, has anyone ever seen King Kong? I, I, I've never seen it before. Oh, come on, Rob. No one wants to watch that right now. No, come on. I mean, come on. I mean, I, I've never seen it. <laughs> Neither. I'm just channeling it, channeling, channeling it as much as I can, selfishly. Okay, storm background has ruled, but still waiting for lightning storm background. <laughs> lightning storm, oh, maybe we could figure something out. Maybe we could do it. So he's got a big blade here. Got some knuckle guards. Some sci-fi apparati. Another movie on my rewatch list is Independence Day. Um, I don't remember whether or not I enjoyed that sequel that came out. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to stay away from that stuff. <laughs> I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. Anybody else see that sequel and remember it? I saw it in the theaters, and I, I don't remember any of it. Which, that's actually not a good sign, you know? You know, if I can't remember at all what took place in that movie. I just remember a giant alien queen, I think. I've seen it. It's meh at best. Ah, okay. Yeah, maybe I won't, uh, I won't really bother with it. It's one of those movies where I'm like, oh, uh, did I like this? Did I, should I watch this? And I saw the length and I was like, this is a long movie. Should I dedicate that time out of, uh, out of my life on this planet <laughs> To, to watch this <laughs> uh, let's see you'll do fine don't suggest just oh I'm sorry wait what I've missed um, uh, two hours reading comics on toilet is time better spent you'll do fine just don't suggest paths of glory buddy of mine suggested that during a mini marathon near the tail end and everybody slept through it oh you mean recommending films yeah Kubrick movies are mostly uh, mo are mostly watch alone yeah leaning Slightly forward in your seat films. Right, right. 
I agree. <laughs> Paths of glory. That's tough. <laughs> Why would you suggest Paths of Glory? What a mad lad! <laughs> That's hilarious. When I was in college, I had a buddy who would always recommend 2001 Space Odyssey when it's like midnight. And I, I've never finished it. Because every time, it's like, uh, it's like, how long are we going to look at space? Some people are crazy. I don't know about you guys, but do you find like when you watch older films, I don't know, there's so much more, they're just cozy at night. I don't know why. Maybe because it's the familiar or just, I don't know. I don't, I can never start anything new late at night. I am not going to pay attention. I start to get really tired. It's just different. Sorry, just focusing right now, trying to get the, just wanted to reshape this a bit. I intended on doing that. For the barrels, okay, that's better. Whew, okay, better. Whew. Uh, let's see. Hey Rob, congratulations on another successful campaign and congratulations on getting monetized. So when are you going to offer broccoli and meatball emojis? It's a great idea, Adam. Okay. I'll figure out how I can do that. That would be really fun. Broccoli emoji. Where do I get emojis? Are there emojis that are... I'll figure it out. Uh, that's the one thing I have to do. I mean, it's spring break for, for, for CUNY, for where, where I work. So I'll have some time to dive into that. Such a late spring break. It's, it's, in my opinion, it's ridiculous. Uh, the semester literally ends. And after this, there's only two weeks of meetings left. It's like... Absurd. They decided to do spring break now. Uh, I only... St let's... Oop. Hey, Kier, what's going on? Good to see you, brother. Uh, dude, let's watch 2001 with the ending synced up to the dark side of the moon. 100% good time. I watched it uh, that way, projected onto the dome screen inside an... Oh, wow. An astronomy observatory. Well, that's pretty neat. I only stayed awake through 2001 because the music box theater has old-timey wooden seats that paralyze half of your spine if you slouch in them in any way. That was torture. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh, wow. Uh, Sears says... <laughs> Sears says, now I'm hungry for meatballs. I'm cracking up over Paul's comment. You're an artist. Draw some emoji of your own. Uh, I guess they'd be Rob drawn emojis. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know that was how it works. Okay. Uh, I will draw some broccoli. I will draw some broccoli. Yes, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do what Pete did, the one cent. Right? It was like one cent, nine ninety nine, I think, or something like that. For the emojis or whatever. I got to figure that out. It's just It's just been an absolutely crazy semester so it's good that i can finally just focus on that stuff now just can't wait for it to be over i can't wait all right love him absolutely love him okay uh Two options. You can uh, get a AI emojis or a real human digital artist. Do the right thing. Ooh, wow, no pressure. <laughs> I will. I will. Don't worry. I, I will. I will do that though. Now that I, again, I'm, I'm I'm being serious. I don't really know 
That's all territory I have to explore. All right, let's just get some red here on this. Oh yeah, the red was the way to go. Oh yeah, now we'll start to put a little bit of, uh, I'll refine that line a little more. And then we'll start the splatter. Oh, it's a one hour stream already? Jeez, holy smokes. Oh man, I didn't realize it. Let's get the teeth. Small outlines here, very small. I love this guy. Oh. You guys will break my heart if you tell me you had enough Primor. You break my heart. Uh, I've never simulcasted via StreamYard. When people use emojis in the Twitch chat, do you see them like this one? I do. I do see it. I actually do. Looks like someone's saying no, no, no. No, right? That's what it looks like to me. Okay. Let's do it. What am I doing? That's the question. Oh, right. Well, first off, let's get some speed lines. This one merits the speed lines. So excited for you guys to finally meet this character. He won't be in this form yet. <laughs> Just too cool to pass up. Uh, Captain's on to solid gold again. Drawn emojis. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I'll add that to the list. And please tell me what else, like anything else, like if there's any other types of memberships you would like, let me know. I mean, I'm just going to start out with the emoji thing, like the 99 sent thing that pete has drawn emojis i like that a lot so if there's anything else that you guys would prefer you just let me know because again this is uncharted territory for me but i'll definitely make all of the emojis exclusive to the membership thing so i think that's the best way to start and just to be realistic with what i could handle at this moment It doesn't hurt to spitball, guys. It doesn't hurt. Okay. Absolutely love this. Absolutely love this. Tom Waits emojis. <laughs> I don't want to get sued now. I don't want to get sued. Well, I am a Tom Waits fan. Okay, here we go. Get that real dirt and grime of the cyborgs. Oh, man, 
scan. I'm gonna have to scan all these in. So now, Paul, I don't know if you're gonna participate in tomorrow's auction this weekend. So I will. Um, I won't ship this out today. Uh, Wayne told me to hold off on his too, just in case he wins something. So if you're okay with that, I'll do the same with you. So this way you don't have to pay shipping on anything. Pete's got Dean Martin emojis. You'll be okay. Oh, no way. Oh, all right. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I'll talk to him today. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, I'll see him tomorrow on the stream, so... Oh my goodness, I adore this character. I, this is, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, just hang on to everything, probably going to get a piece or two. Okay. Okay, we will do. There we go. Oh, man. Freaking love this. Okay, so let's get some white splatter going. Pete's a notorious outlaw. He lives in the wild mountains of New Hampshire. That's just, that's like saying Blackbeard pirated ships. He mostly got away with it. <laughs> oh, man. go folks all right let's get here we go so now let's get gentle gentle bristles come on I know you're relatively new at this this is a real stiff brush she's brand new so we just got to break her in a bit, but no, no, she's, she's doing good. Let's get a little splash in the mouth, just so we can get some. Yeah, perfect. Just that spit, that... <laughs> Oh my goodness, let's go. <sighs> Brain is not going to sleep. I was up all night last night thinking about stories with this character. I couldn't sleep. I was like, ah, Primor. My wife was like, what'd you say? Primor. I must, must include Primor. Oh man. <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. This is this should be illegal how much fun this is. No, just kidding. Don't make this illegal. Make me want to do it even more. <laughs> Watching this card develop over the last hour was better than any movie I've seen from Hollywood in a long time. Wow, anything goes. Thank you. Well, what an honor. Well, thank you for watching, my friend. That's just, that's the, that's the best. That is the best. I just love doing this. Oh, I want to do this forever. <laughs> just want to do this forever. Forever.
carve that out a little. A uh, good day and good luck out there, everybody. Oh, thank you so much, Anything Goes. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm tempted to put some stuff in the background. But I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like how it looks now. Maybe just a little bit. We could see like some kind of like... Oh no, it does look good. Okay. <laughs> Some kind of like lightning. I am primal. I'm going to fill that space of hair. Just let me just reduce one part of this just a little bit there, lessen that a little bit. We don't need so much there. And here, lessen this a little bit. Just little hints. Just subdue it just a touch. Happy little lightning bolts. Yeah, just a little, just a little, just a little something. Just a little something. So you get some of the white in there on the top part. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, Paul. He goes, I don't know. I'm starting to think Primor is its own world now, unfettered by history and allegory. It's simpler. A rampaging giant's adventures through a violent world. I agree. It's like it could be its own series. <laughs> uh, we're going to see. We're going to see. You never know. You never know what's in store uh, for this universe. But, oh man. Really love this character. It's crazy. Um, well, okay. Well, guys, thank you so much. And thank you, Paul, for getting this card. This was so much fun. Um, honored that it's going to be added to your collection. Cyborg Primor, man. We got a... I don't know. We, we, we got... Um, I'm going to have quite a upcoming volume. Quite an upcoming volume. Um, in the Blood Realm series that's in development. That's uh, It's going to be interesting. Hmm. Yeah, what you said there, Paul, that's uh, dwelling in my mind. We shall see. We shall see. But it's not the last we've seen of him. This is this character is just too much damn fun. He really is. He's just too much damn fun. So we're going to figure it out. <laughs> we're going to figure it out. You never know. You never know what they can do in the future in Blood Realm, you know? You never know if you think it's like, uh, you know, when you think about um, Jurassic Park, if they get Primor's genes, what do they clone? What do they make in the future? You know, is, is, does Jezreel bite off more than she can chew, you know, in terms of her own advancements in her empire? So uh, there's so much. There's so much. It'd be really cool. Uh, closeout stream soon tomorrow, Adam Warlock. Tomorrow will be the closeout stream, and it's also going to be the Alterna Art Auction. It just happened to fall on the same day. So Pete's calling it a, a closeout stream and art auction event. So I, I think that's going to be great, and we'll have a couple of the Alterna guys there as well. So I think it's going to be really nice. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So 
Uh, I'm really excited for, for that. So the, t the closeout stream will be tomorrow. Uh, we'll see if we can hit the first stretch goal so we can unlock um, that that uh, awesome premium Chiron statue. So incredibly excited and just grateful for everyone's support. It truly, truly just means the world. It really does. And I just can't wait to make more characters and more stories for you and just entertain you. I just want to entertain you guys and give you some just wildly epic imaginative uh, stories and characters. You know, that's... Uh, that's what I want. That's what I want to do. Um, that's the dream. You never know. We may get there and I can just teach less and stop grading all these darn papers. <laughs> Tired of it. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, Cyborg Primor shows up in visions as the techno machines under the steel mountain try to invade his primitive brain with their machinations. Oh, man. Uh, you know, I... I there is so much we can do, Paul. It really, really is. There's so much. It's. I I have so many ideas. I feel like Primor in the Blood Realm universe could be my devil dinosaur, but like in my, you know, in my in my fit in, in the Blood Realm universe, you know. Of. And I think it could be so much fun. Oh man, it could be so much fun. All right, guys. Well, this was fantastic. Thank you again, Paul. I will see you guys tomorrow for the Alterna Comics Art Auction Blood Realm Closeout Stream. I believe it's at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. So thank you again, everybody, for watching. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your Friday. Take care.